Yeah, even seeing like the roofs of everything, the aerial view of this is going to be great. And, oh, there's the gnome. Hi, welcome to the Let's Play of the YouTuber drop rate from my park for the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. If you want to start directly with the Let's Play, you can also skip my short intro. Today we have the Park University District, which is my favorite area in the game Skate 3. Unfortunately, Jordan's videos are not currently available on YouTube, but I had saved some. He gave me permission to reupload them. So the old videos from Drop Channel will be available here, primarily from my parks. I don't want to miss out on thanking you for all the videos. Also to everyone who made parks and gave me inspiration and tips. Thank you. When I saw the initial like TikToks that he posted this, this is the map that I thought was like had to be in like Tony Hawk 4 or something like that. So five cones find five boxes and a gnome. So all that CAPC stuff, we see a crate right there. And I actually really like that. That is a sweet setup. Oh, as I just transfer this time, I won't hit R2. Oh, I have to hit R2, but I have to come at it at an angle. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it kind of looks... I don't know, it's just, this looks, uh, it just has that look that does not seem like a creative park. I don't, I don't know necessarily why. I think it's just so well designed and the central area, I want to go to the outskirts, I think. I see all the typical long railings. There's a lot going on here. Like even these rails look really well done. Nice view of the uh, ocean there. Oh, as I don't properly transfer out. I do like this um, embankment too because we can pop off into a wall plant. So if I continue on the outskirts, we got so much more going on out here. I feel like I have a somewhat good concept of customs designs, so I think that we're gonna want to go up. Oh, I suppose if I can pop onto this ledge here, that rails on the outside yeah okay so when, uh, yeah there we go I connected onto it there's our second crate <laughs> how are we gonna get up to that portion oh this relic goes over there Oh, see it. There's got to be something in this. No? Yes. Come on. There we go. Third crate, I believe. And, ooh. If I can get out of this little enclosure, or I guess if I just get a nice angle, we'll get back onto that rail. Yeah, even seeing like the roofs of everything, the aerial view of this is gonna be great. And oh, there's the gnome. No crate here. Oh, there's a crate way out there. Oh no, yep, that's exactly, I, 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 I feared that was gonna happen. But as long as I stay on that rail, going back up, we'll be good. I suppose I can just pop over from this side too. Oh, I want to hold grind through that, but that's alright because I can. There's definitely no crate here. 
I thought we we're gonna be up on that next tier. We'll work our way up. It almost seems like there could be something down there, but I don't see it. Let's go get this crate on this side first. Thankfully we can land there for a moment. Okay, so I s that must be a crate down there as well. Oh, why would... Mm. Well, okay, I was like, we're gonna get that <laughs> See, this is the, uh, the downside of uh, being live because I can't cut out my uh, epic mess ups like that I don't know why I'm starting from this portion Wow. I have this bad habit of not holding grind through stuff. There we go. Hopefully third time's a charm. There's a part of me that wonders cause like I have a, uh, a drifting stick issue on my normal Xbox One controller, so I'm using my Series S controller today. So I wonder if I'm like compensating for some of these things. That's why I'm having a little bit of trouble at the start. No self flipping this time. I'm not even gonna flip. And then our final crate is going to be down here. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Of course this one won't break now. There we go. So. Oh, I'm surprised I actually made that gap. If I work my way back. I can take that rail up to that gnome. Get that out of the way. I am kind of intrigued because I feel like with the way that this is laid out, well besides that bench there, I think we can actually take this, uh, well we popped over, but can I take it all the way through here? Is this, nope, I can. That's awesome. Nailed that. I wonder why, like, I wonder why I couldn't wall ride that wall sometimes sweeps can be like a little confusing to me <laughs> oh my god there we go <laughs> we'll play it safe So this wraps. Well, we know where it goes. Oh my. Are you kidding me? Off to a great start here. Good. That's alright. It's just. It's practice.
No more flipping once we get around that. Or, unless I have to. Right there will be good. Perfect. Okay, now I just don't want to mess it up. I might do I scuff up this? Oh god, that could have been bad. There we go. No, I'm out of the way. So, at this point, we'll look at the cone combo. There's our first cone, or at least a cone. Two, three. This might be a starter, it might be an ender. Probably a starter, so if I go there to here. Okay, I pop onto this. Here, here. We'll Do we go around? Oh yeah, so there's a cone. Now I feel like I want, how do I want to approach this? Okay, wait, does that actually loop? Yeah, that will, okay, that'll at least get us here. I think I have it. It might take a few attempts on this one. I mean, I should also say, too, like, seeing the, uh, actual, like, uh, leafs, uh, like, the, the foliage throughout here looks great as well. Okay, we'll see how this works. Oh, that's a. It made me crash, so. I'm. Well, I want to try this again to see how I want to approach it. Because we. I can't make that gap. I mean, it's plausible I could, but this also leads in a way that makes me think. If we go here. Will this loop me to a point? Okay. That makes a little bit more sense, so I can actually restart. Well, I want to get that experience. I almost wonder how... Now, that wouldn't probably be that smart of a place to start. Oh, that's see that spot right there. That's gonna kill me. I have to come off to the left. Oh, that's I don't remember if it's on the inside or outside. Oh, it's on the outside. That's alright, because I can get to here. Oh, no. There we go. Got all five. Oh, <laughs> that was a close one. That was some true gravity defying there. Hello, Custom Parks. I, I have completed all the tasks at hand in this park. Really love it here. Just gonna do a little bit more exploration. Uh, this was uh, the difficulty uh, for this was probably one of the easier of your maps. <laughs> I was able to get to that cone combo pretty easily. I mean, I can do it for you again if you need me to. If you didn't see me do it, wait. Now, what did I see up there? 
Oh wait, no, I just, the cone moved in that direction. I was like, <laughs> Am I missing any other parks of yours on here? Oh, I landed that combo still. Yeah, I really like this whole section throughout here too. Like the way that like you can go in between everything. Like actually I could, I went around the whole surface of this. Oh, that time I didn't. Whoa, I was like in a, it was registered as nose manual, but I wasn't in a manual. Is that on Xbox or is that on PC? I want to get a good transfer in here. Well, I'll pop into that then and see what that's all about. Yeah, the, it's, it's crazy how well designed this is. In, in some ways it kind of like uh, gives me the vibes of like the Delfino Plaza level. Um, but not at the same time, because it definitely feels like a custom parks map. I think it's just the colors of the uh, structure. Why am I having issues on this right here? Oh, I can't air out of there for whatever reason. But yeah, I'll, I'll go on to that next map then. <laughs> 